I think the best attitude to take is that you'll have plenty of quiet time for studying. Assuming the idea of it doesn't bother you, some people, it bothers. So I'll be alone here at night. Didn't they tell you? Well, sometimes an ambulance or a police comes in, but apart from that, it's just you and them. Martin Bells was a full-time student who needed a nighttime job. How could you give away all your nights without talking to me first? It's a test. I'm testing myself. You don't think it's weird? I have a pretty high tolerance to that sort of thing. <laughs> but he just accepted the wrong one. A 17-year-old girl was found dead this evening. The third in as many weeks and the sixth in the last two months. I saw her in the hallway. No. Deputy Inspector Bill Davis, this is me and I watch with Martin Bells. A series of murders. When you're dead, you're dead. What difference does it make what someone does to you? Have invaded his life. I've interrogated murders like this one before. Let me tell you, they are well beyond the need to justify what they do. They just do it. In the mind of the police. Tell me, Martin, you did your rounds last night? Of course, why? I see a dead girl. Now the doctor tells me you're the only one that's been in here. He's the prime suspect. They know who it is? They have a suspect. It's me. <laughs> Boy, they got the wrong guy. He didn't do it. Martin is not a murderer. I think someone is trying to frame me. Martin, if this is what I think it is, there's someone very dangerous standing right behind you in the dark, breathing down your neck. And in the eyes of a killer, he's the next victim. Ewan McGregor, Patricia Arquette, Josh Brolin, and Nick Nolte. Tell me something, Martin. Are you still going to maintain your innocence? No! Nightwatch.